Hey everybody, welcome to the first race of round three. First, it's uh, Wanli, Chippy, and Ekman. Um, I'm Main, I'm joined with Just Ruinatan on commentary. Hello, everyone. Yeah, it should be a good race. Um, for some reason, Wanli and Chippy always seem to be matched against each other. Um, I don't know how that happens, but they've they were they competed a bunch last year um, and and this year s still. So um, and they do a lot of practice together. So uh, should be a, should be an interesting one. So um, yeah, honestly, I can't wait. I mean, I was looking at the previous matches, and these two are like very close by at, to one another with their times and. I gotta say, I, I mean, I wouldn't count Ekman out either. I mean, he's definitely got the got the stuff to maybe get up there, and you know. Yeah. Um, Ekman notoriously last year's tourney was a kind of a dark horse. He did super super strong, um, made it pretty far, um, doing it for the first time. So, um, so yeah, but yeah, he's in round three. So yeah, you never know. Um, but yeah, Wanley and Chippy have both been pretty consistent, um, in both in practice and uh, in the tourney. So um, yeah, like getting a, getting 207, 206, 207 is pretty solid. So um, yeah, we'll see we'll see what happens with them. So um, <clears throat> again, just to go over the format for this round as well, it's similar to the other two rounds, um, first and second advance automatically, and then. It, it, it'll be the best third place time of four third place placers. So definitely trying to play for first and second. Um, uh, and if you do happen to get third, it's it's you can still make it to semis, but um, you got to beat out three other people. So um, a little more tight. So and then yeah, and then then that'll be nine people for semis, and then semis is. Uh, only winner advances, and then you get then we're in the finals in the last round. So um, should be uh, should be solid. So um, so these guys played each other. Wanley, Wanley and Chippy at least played each other in round one, um, where Wanley did win. Um, the only difference for that was they they were they were running kind of a meme Squirtle. Um, just it was only them two because there was a a, a a DQ before their race, their third person. So. Um, they were running say, like no a... memes this time. One lease. Yeah. Where is looking stacked, dude. Those yep. are some stats. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, um, actually, so one thing to note as well, um, because again, you're gonna see mainly Rash, um, for all these Squirtles that you see in tourney generally. Um, and then ran a Modest, which Modest is fine too, but it, it it just makes one of the it makes getting bubbles harder. Um. And it makes Boat Rival a harder range to kick bite, so... Um, but generally you're gonna see Rash. Um, generally you're gonna see all the stats as high as possible. Um, the one that doesn't really matter as much is speed. Um, you'll probably see between 25 and 31 speed, just because doing the late surge route, um, you're not gonna run into a lot of speed problems, because you're, you're higher level on certain fights in the mid-game. Um, and again, you always get the person berry, so you'll generally have the, either the person berry for Sabrina to X speed, or um, or you can pick up the lum berry, or or you can um, or you can X speed on Kadabra if you happen to tank on Kadabra, which is safe as well. So um, Sabrina usually generally will not be a problem, and and then yeah, you you do outspeed Blaine running late surge. Um, you don't run into rapid ash out speed, so um, I would say the, the 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 thing to note about is this as well. So they're all gonna have generally twenty one special defense as well, um, just because. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, he died. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, it's beginning. It was bound it's to happen. Beginning. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, I was not. I was looking at their stats. I was not paying attention because this is a, the, one of the easiest fights to win. Yeah, they uh, were just talking about that too. Like, well, imagine it happens and it does. Oh, okay, no. that, that was literally the first time. Okay, what, what, do, you, do you know what happened? Did he just get crit twice or? He got, he got crit twice, yeah. Hmm. Damn. 
That's so um, I think that's the first time that's happened this tournament. It was bound to happen. Um, oh god. Okay, I mean, he's, he's not out of it, but um, that's obviously pretty annoying yeah, time loss. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we gotta hope he doesn't try to YOLO too hard. Again, you, you have to kind of like... Again, you want to finish first or second, but uh, he can actually die again. That would be uh, that'd be pretty. That'd be something. Okay, all right, he's good. Hit the tackle. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah rival I mean, one deaths are extremely unlikely. Um, yeah, I mean, if I think if he if he you know can keep a cool, cool head and and just oh man, Wanley's just getting just actually like wow, critting the rat <laughs> here too. Just easy bubble, tons of health. Nice, man. Um, I was just saying, um, yeah, so most runners will run special defense at least 21, just because it makes the rival 2 vine whip range 15 to 18 rather than 17 to 20. And that's like the worst fight in the game, or one of the worst fights in the game. <clears throat> and to have a little bit of flexibility um, is pretty nice. So, so yeah, Chippy's um, behind a little bit, but it, I mean, it's fine. Um, I would say he shouldn't really go too crazy and try to YOLO everything. Um, he's a little behind, but it's super early, and um, again, he just needs to get at least second to advance, so that's a 1% encounter. Okay. Yeah, yeah I know Chippy, Chippy getting too. a little trolled. Um, <laughs> it is a level 2, so he can, he can kill it, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, as I was saying, I think I think if he, if he just keeps a calm head and keeps moving on, I think he's he's gonna be just fine. But yeah, uh, um, it's not as bad as um, I think. The worst thing that could happen to you would be level five Pikachu after Sammy and dying to that, because then you'd have to you'd have no repels and you'd go all the way back to Mom's. So you you'd have to go through all the grass patches and all the forest patches so that would be the worst um that's not as bad i mean he had to reset i don't know how much time he lost um probably maybe 45 seconds um so it's not the end of the world i mean that you could that could be the difference between getting the range and not getting the range should be it should be not that bad so yeah just don't go too crazy don't don't yolo too hard um you never know so but yeah wasn't expecting that um very unlikely, especially when you run Rash, especially when you um, have 25 plus attack. Um, it's the highest chance to survive, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, but that's the game, that's the game, and that's the speed run, and that's yeah. racing this, is, is just trying to mitigate those as much as possible and trying to find counterplay, but you know, counterplay to that is, is uh, impossible. So, yeah, yeah, but... and just something to note too is you can't you you can't miss tackle either in on rival one unless you get growled unless you tail whip. So um, that's another thing that like is interesting to note that that so makes the fight even more consistent because if you get growled you can you can tail whip and then you might get crit or miss tackle. But if it's just if it's no um, you don't crit and you get double crit, yeah, that's that's pretty unlikely. So. Um, it's just something that kind of like something to, that we that I've noticed that I mean everyone's noticed is that like you can do a bunch of practice races, but for some reason when it's race time, the RNG you get is uh, it always seems to be worse. <laughs> Weirder things happen um, on the actual race day. So, oh, yeah. uh, okay, Ekman getting level four rat. Right? That's not the greatest. Oh, nice crit. Crit into, yeah. crit into guaranteed, nice, okay. Level 4 is going to be a little spicier to catch, um, and, you know, weaken. He was actually speed, he was speed tied with this rat at level 4 or so, um, and it's going to do more damage, so. Alright, so Chippy's got Bubble getting the, the, the Pidgey. So this is the perfect situation, like, getting Bubble here, is because when you do run into a level 2, if you happen to run into a level 2 to catch, you only have to weaken the, it once, and it'll go into 78%, which is what you're looking for, so... Um, it's definitely nice having, uh... Um, having Bubble there. Yeah, absolutely. 
especially since you really get a lot of benefit from having Bubble on uh, Sammy in this format. Yep, Bubble's gonna be more consistent. Um, can't miss tackle, don't have to tail whip. Um, you you'll be healing less on Sammy. Um, and only nice downside to Bubble. Getting a, getting a rat as well, a level two. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah. He's so he's he's already making strides to come back into this yep. one. Yeah, by no means out at this point. Um, the only downside to bubble, uh, well, there's two downsides. Number one, um, a lot sometimes crit when you crit bubble. So let's just say you bubble a level three, Ratata, Radit and it only gets you to sixty-two percent. Most runners in race and especially in tourney. Are gonna be attacking again, just because um, it's uh, you don't really want to rely on 62% catch rate. So, but if you attack again and crit, then you you then you kill whatever you are trying to catch. And the the issue with that is that it gives you too much experience because yep. if you if you crit again after if you don't have bubble, then you just get bubble generally, unless it's like a level two level two situation. Um, but the, the the experience is is, is completely useless um, if you crit something you're trying to catch after having bubble. So yeah, absolutely. Which is unfortunate. So um, so Wanli Wanli going pretty pretty dang fast. Honestly, um, you you can't really ask for a better setup here. Yeah, he he crit two shot his bubble things and he got I believe he got both pokes. Oh, okay, well, as I say that, he gets a 1% encounter. <laughs> um, Caster curse. Yeah. Uh, so, one thing to note about one difference between Wanli's Squirtle and Chippy and Ekman's Squirtle. Um, so, Wanli's running a very defensive Rash. Um, I mean, they're, all three are very defensive, but Wanli's, Wanli's defense goes over a threshold that changes the Misty fight. So, it's actually... You could say that, like, honestly, like, Chippies might even be better if it had slightly better speed. Um, but Wanli does, he doesn't like his defense. It makes him pretty, pretty, pretty dang tanky, but it, it causes the Misty fight on Starmie to be 50 50 for Water Pulse versus Swift. And um, so you really, like, you run into issues there because you don't want to get poisoned twice. So. Oh! oh. He's, is he dead here? I don't, I don't think this is dead. Oh, he got so okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So now this is extremely weird. So, um, Wanli's gonna have to. Well, he's got a few choices here. He's gonna have to heal. Um, it's probably not worth worth risking scratch. So, so the only way he dies here, he, he has two options. Number one, you just heal on Santru, which, you know, can really suck because you heal out of torrent. You might get sand attack spammed. But he is dead to scratch. The other, the other, the other option is you're saving, so you you risk scratch, and then if you two shot it, you can just heal on on Onyx instead, um, which would save you a lot of turns. Um, you He's know, hit if... by a lot right now, so he might be thinking that all right, I want to play it safe and just he heals. Okay, I, I, so this I don't can... agree with because he he should have. Well, unless he's trying to take Geodude damage, he should he should have healed in the fight on Sandshrew, in my opinion. Yeah, just because, I agree, I agree. But um, he's already menuing to save, so it's not, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, maybe he's Geodude afraid has a chance of sand to attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I guess it's, you could play it either way. Um, and the Geodude does have a chance to tackle him to, to get a little damage, but yeah. Um, okay, Chippy and Ekman finishing up Sammy. Both got poisoned, so yep, good both setup good. here. So I guess a little bit of equalization here with uh, Wanli having such a great start, but having this awkward HP, and then in contrast, yeah. Ekman and Chippy both getting the poison here. And actually, kind of neck and neck, Chippy already catching up to Ekman, although Ekman does have the emulator uh, time deficit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, the, this... This fight is one of the worst in the game. It's horrible, especially in PB attempts. Um, and it's even worse when you don't have Torrent. He's getting Scratch here, which is decent, so... Um, yeah, this looks like a 
not too bad HP value. So this is okay. Um, he's going to be level 11 for the Geo. Can um, it'll be a very favored range to um, one shot the Geo dude, uh, and then he's just got to stall um, maybe once. One, one bubble stall, stall maybe withdraw. Withdrawal. Yeah. Yeah. Huge, yeah. Yep. It looks then, pretty okay to me, at least. Yeah. But uh, both of these other runners here in Sranshu right now, let's see what they get. Because uh, these can actually, be a pivotal moment. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this Sanshu sucks. Um, so the Sanshu is a favored two-shot with Torrent and a non-favored three-shot with not without Torrent. Oh, Ekman. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nothing you can do. Nothing. Oh, and Chippy gets Scratch with... Uh, okay. It didn't that die. This is the range. Okay. God, this Liam is so horrible. He's so horrible. Okay. Chippy doesn't die, which is fine. Um, Alright, Wanley's actually, through. So I actually saw... So Wanley didn't save for Brock, which I actually agree with here. Um, again, you want to try to have Torrent for the next route. Um, the, yeah. the problem is, is that if you in this in the in the um, in the turns you take to stall, if you get crit, it it's really bad because you got to heal and say, or it might even one shot you. But um, Wanley just said, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm guaranteed to win um, if I just bubble twice with this health, which is basically he'd have to get crit turn one, miss range, and then he could heal. But he's got two potions, so um, yeah. It seems like a good decision in this place. So he, he sure. just chose to not save and basically not have Torrent for uh, for Route 3, or for, for for Colton, which Colton can still poison you or get, give you damage, so it's not the end of the world, so. Yeah. Alright, so Chippy's gonna have to heal here. Uh, we all ate it. So he just gotta hope that Rock Tomb doesn't miss. Okay, good. No crits. Probably just bubble in here. Uh, binds. Okay, this unfortunately he cannot withdraw here, um, so he's gonna have to go. Um, Unlucky. Okay, blind. yeah, and, and with binds, yeah. Oh well. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, there's four races of three people, and nine people will advance. Um, first and second advance in every race, and the, the the best third place time of the third place finishers will advance the semis. So, they're playing for first and second. Oh, um, and Ekman hit the range on the Onyx. Okay, nice. So, everyone is through Brock. This yeah. is a uh, victory in itself. It's just <laughs> Ekman and Chippy both have a death, and Wanley's cruising pretty fast, so... Besides, uh, obviously, that unfortunate crit. But, I mean, Wanley was very close to dying um, in that spot. Um, I think he was at the exact health to... Uh, one shot the or torrent kill the torrent kill Sammy. Uh, best thing here is tackle. tackle the best thing here is tackle crit. Um, um, poison. He so if he gets poison thing, no poison. He's gonna have to stall once. Um, if he gets okay, okay. So now no he's gonna poison. stall. He's got ideally he'll stall now, twice. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll have to stall twice. Um, generally. If if two bits of damage gives you torn for fifteen, you're def you're de you're generally gonna want to stall twice. Um, okay, there's one. Okay, now he's gonna hope for it again. He's got torn for fourteen, but okay, nice. That is what you want. Wow. So now he's got torn for. Actually, Wong is in a good spot here. This is gonna be. He's got both pokes. He's gonna have torn for f fifteen. He's gonna be at twelve health. Um, unless it's a plus three here, I don't. I don't know if it is. Um, either way, he'll have Torrent for 15. And he's 31 speed, so he can... If he saves for Josh, he can do Josh, and then he can skip the Carbos, which is pretty nice. So, um, Josh is one of those fights that's... You only die to quick attack crit, so... Uh, I believe... No, Wanley does have both, I believe. Unless I'm wrong. Maybe I was Yeah, watching. Josh has the implicit risk of him not quick attacking at all, and then you get the... Uh... Uh, the next fight is more dangerous because of it, or can be. Oh, Wanley, oh, Wanley doesn't have both. Time. Okay, Chippy has both. I was confusing Wanley having Chippy. Okay, um... So Chippy's kind of maybe 
closer than it actually seems. Maybe kind of neck to neck. Yeah. Okay, well then, Wanli has the option. That Wanli will probably do Hiker then, um, or Book Catcher. Okay, Chippy Poisons, which is fine. Um, okay, no. get the range. <laughs> Oh, heal, heal, you heal. See. oh my! And so it actually it happened. Thank God he didn't die, because that would have been horrible. Um, so when you run thirty, when you run thirty special over thirty-one, this Caterpie becomes a fifteen and sixteen range. Yeah. And he missed it while being poisoned. He thank God he didn't die because he. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, that was a uh, yep. Yeah, um, that is honestly why you should run 31 special, not 30, but that's, we're talking extreme min-max here. Um, he's gonna stall a little bit to get Torrent for this fight. Yeah, I mean, you um, never think that's gonna happen to you, and then it happens to you, and it's like... Here's, so, here's, here, so here's the thing, <laughs> so you die there, you go all the way back to, um, I believe it's Mom, or Pewter, so that's, yeah. You don't want that, so... <laughs> um, that's why, at least for me, I'm only gonna run 31, I think. I'm not gonna run 30, just because of that situation is super, super bad. Um, yeah. Again, luckily he didn't die. He was got to one health, but... Um, hey, that's I another was reason having... about this, but why did they run, like, over, over that thing instead of next to the scientist? Um, well, it's, it's more of an execution thing. Um, you don't want to hit Jovan because now if you do the correct movement, you can't he can't you can't hit him. But when you're nervous and it's a tourney race, you don't want to fight him because he, he his his Magnemite has Thundershock and it can just kill you. And again, if you die here, you go all the way back to Mom. So unless you go in the center, so most runners will go around even though it's slightly slower, just because it's going to be more consistent and you know. Yeah, that makes Runners sense. have hit him. I mean, you mess up that movement and you you hit him, and and it, it, you can die. And it's really slow, and you and you can die. So, um, it it does count as your experience, but you just don't want to do that. So, yeah, I've definitely fought him. It's not nice, but usually I have the privilege of resetting. This, of course, isn't the optimal here. So, yeah, I, I can understand that. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens on Misty, especially with what you said about one Lee's defense. It's uh, it can lose a lot of time if you get confused there. <laughs> Sorry, I had to step away. Um, did you say anything? Uh, just uh, yeah, just curious uh, how this uh. Misty split will pan out, especially with one least defense. It's it's gonna be interesting to see for sure. But yeah, uh, um... yeah, we'll see. Um, I mean, again, it 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 does kind of suck that Wanli has uh, slightly higher defense. But one of the nice bits about this that I like is that um, when your defense is really high and you're taking um, you take, you're gonna be taking less from Swift, um, and you're also just a very tanky Squirtle, so a lot of the times you can avoid th dying by getting crit by Misty once, um, because a lot of times, uh, there's a, <laughs> deaths can definitely happen when you get crit by Swift last turn, but this Squirtle tanks, tanks it I believe, so... Um, unless you get double water pulse from Stardew, which is unlikely anyways, so... Um, but, you, you take what you can get. Um, it's, it's still an extremely good Squirtle. This is probably the only downside of it. Um, also, um, when you have too high defense, it makes uh, it makes Bruno kind of harder. Um, but you can always play it around that, but... Getting torn for Bruno is pretty can be pretty tricky here. Um, so Wanli and Chippy both doing hiker. Um, it paying off pretty good for for Wanli because uh, no torn for 17 or 18. So 
But he's gonna have to crit maybe? Okay, yeah, close. So the only real downside to Hiker, Hiker's gonna be the and allow fight and not and you could still two shot the Grimer and then hope for pound or even poison gas hit. Oh crit there is good. That's that's uh that's not gonna you're not gonna hit that. It's not a range hit without torrent, so Yeah, but uh yeah this uh, seemed to really set back cheapy this uh poison on this uh bot catcher that you got before. I mean that could yeah. die but still it's got a sting that he was catching up, he's almost there. He was he did the you can see that he knows that he needs to do riskier strats because uh for example he passed the scientist guy, the did you say his name was Johan or something? No. Johan, yeah. Yeah. I mean he said before that he's gonna do risky strats if he's behind, so it's uh, it's gonna be an interesting watch if he actually goes for something a little bit um, more risky than that even. So one of the reasons, Matt, that high defense on Bruno is and high HP is not is not very good is because um, the the most common strat for Bruno, because it's the most consistent um, and the safest, is full restore turn one. And it's very difficult to get Torrent for 54 when you do full restore turn one with this kind of Squirtle, just because you're not taking a lot of damage, so... Generally, ooh, that crit's nice, yeah. Wami's got yeah. a lot of good crits this run. Um, um, Reach get richer. So, so, so generally, the, the way it'll go probably for one, like, unless he unless he opts for attack strat. Um, our attack track's not going to be as consistent. Only accidentally a pressing the name screen. But didn't opt op to give Sanchiru a name, even though he thought about it clearly. <laughs> yeah, it's like a couple frames faster, but it's not, you know, it's it's pretty negligible. I think it's like or like half a second faster, I think. But um, yeah, getting Sanchiru is nice for sure. And then critting it too um, to get it to guarantee the catch rate. So. Um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of options for Bruno and what strats you do and um Forward Star Turn One was found um in the last year or two, in the last couple of years I think. Um and it's gonna be the most consistent um of the bunch. Um and you can counterplay if you don't if you don't take enough damage, like if you don't have torrent. Um you can still get screwed. Um Rock to miss, you know, sucks. And low rolls uh, suck, but um, generally you're going to be able to set up another set up a guard spec and hope for the right moves, you know. But sometimes when you're very favored to oh, get swear in Bob, yeah, okay. I'm star you. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, oh. so Wanley again, it's tw uh, confuses 20%, and he's only 50 50 to get. Water pulse here, so okay, swift, good. Um, he might be inclined to go for the range here. Never mind, that's that's yeah, a little. No. <laughs> um, I like water gun. There's another swift. There's okay. He got crit, but he's fine. You just um, go water gun here over uh, tackle. Oh over there god! Oh no! Down. Don't confuse. Okay, he's good. Okay, oh. he's good. okay, he's good. All right, that would have been. He actually could have died there, if, if, but that would have been bad. Um, But it's it's fine. It's fine. So Wanley coming in with a low twenty-seven Misty, and Ekman and Chippy both starting Misty. So solid, solid, solid pace. Low twenty-seven. Um, obviously twenty-six is pretty doable, but I think if Wanley didn't get, if Wanley didn't have to uh, potion on Sandrew or, um, then he he could have had a. A faster time, but I mean, yeah, obviously in a in a, a PB attempt or something, he would would just risk it, it would just risk the scratch on Sanchu. But it's it's I mean, well, it depends. I, I would say it depends on your what your PB. I mean, um, it's definitely 
I think a lot of people take, or, you know, if there's a lot of improvement in your PB, I think a lot of people take unnecessary risks early. Because it's, it's always better to just try to make Ooh. a run work rather than just, you know... Um, yeah, they come on here. 4 HP. Okay, alright, so they're both through. Chippy, Ekman are pretty close. Yeah. Okay, Wanley's at a good health here. Quick attack is fine. Oh, he gets the he gets the low roll quick attack. That actually, that actually could matter, which is interesting. Pidgeot Pidgeotto has a chance to do five there, which is what it did. So he's actually completely out of the vine up range. Whereas at 18, you'd be a one in 16 to get it. Um, so he'll he, he'll get 15 to 18 here, and then he's got to hit the kick. And uh, oh, no. yeah, okay. Now the runners have a chance to catch up. Yep. That is that yep. is the one run. That is the one kick you gotta hit or you die. And he missed it, unfortunately. Um, he does have the revive though, of yeah. course. Yeah, but it's also why you, you you'll generally see revive and save here. Um, yeah, absolutely. One of the one of the issues being is that um, when you when he swaps back back here, uh, he is, he is. Yeah, see if oh, you miss no. here, see he's got a chance to get Leech Seed, and if he gets Leech Seed, it's really bad. Um, yeah, he's under half, so he shouldn't, but okay, okay, 15, you just, come on, bro, you gotta hit, you gotta hit! Come on, please. Okay, oh, alright, 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 um, okay, Chippy getting the knockout on his, uh, so, okay, a similar awkward situation for, for Chippy, he's gonna be over half, which means this... Wow, poison powder, huh? Yep, that is definitely possible. All right, just hit. I've oh. never seen that ability. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, he's got a, he's got a double swap here, or just, or just die. Okay, he's opting to die, which I, I probably agree with here. Um, so he's. Ekman hits it. So this is oh. interesting because two of them don't have revives now. <gasps> no, wait a minute, Abra can't kill him. He's got a reset! I just thought about that! Abra can't- doesn't do any damage! Oh no! <laughs> yeah! So he'd lose experience there. Oh my- th what is happening? Oh my god, man. This is crazy. Wow. So many kick misses already! God. Oh. And this is- see, this is what- this is what happens on race day, man. It's so- it's so frustrating. Like... Because the weird stuff that you see, he gets confused again. I mean, I, again. I can't blame Chippy for not like thinking of that. Cause like I didn't even know that that has poison powder or can use. Yeah, he actually might swap here. He, no, oh snap is annoying. Okay, no, no sand though. It's good. Oh, that crit oh, sucks. Oh, troll! Oh my That's god. So okay, okay, bad. this is why he's just gonna potion turn one. He says he's just gonna potion here. Um, he'll be able to live. Oh, he's risking he, it. Yeah, I don't agree with this. Um, he's probably tilted. He's oh, gonna, God, he thinks he's oh, going to take risks here. You hate to here. see this. Honestly, you hate to see this, because getting bad RNG on race day definitely sucks. Um, I don't necessarily agree with risking flinch there. Um, you do have the revive. If you potion, you can survive two vine whips. Um, obviously, you'd have to hit the kick anyways, but... Man, oh, man, man, this is brutal. This is brutal, man. Okay, Wanley getting absorbed. Okay, this is brutal. Please hit. My God. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Hey, wow. it's fine. It's fine. Well, horrible rival two fights. Except for Ekman. Ekman. Ekman Ekman's was fine, but man, oh man. This is definitely one of the the spicier fights in the run, and it 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 can affect your pace a ton. Oh um, yeah, and now now because of this, they're down to revive both Juan Lee and uh, Chippy, so they're gonna have to play every fight a little bit safer and safe before. Which maybe. is actually not negligible. Um, it actually does matter for for this split, um, mainly because you can't actually die to the Oddishes. Um, or the Raticate before you, the boat. You can die to the... <laughs> uh, well, we don't talk about him. He's a... Uh, he, uh, that dude killed me last round, or last race, so, uh, yeah, no, we don't... 
That, I mean, that yeah. can that can kind of happen like regardless, that. but but um, that's the stuff that can happen if, you, especially if you're in this position. So, so you really have to be mindful of that, and that that even just the fact that it can happen is uh, is it such a big deterrent that, uh, to or uh, causes you to save a lot and stuff like that, which might give Eggman the lead here in the early game. Yeah, and you just you need to these runners need to understand that like they've all been screwed pretty almost equally and. You just no matter what, like you're. It doesn't matter if their pace is not as good anymore. You're just competing with the, the other racers in the race, so you know never give up until it's actually impossible. So, because um, they're they're pretty even now at this point. Um, I mean, Chippy's going to be the most the, the furthest behind, but um, it's not catastrophic. I mean, again, he's he's you know if this went. All the way, it's like he's just got to beat out Ekman if Wanli has a huge lead. So, but again, Wanli doesn't have revive. So, I mean, yeah, but again, yeah, on the this fight is basically repeated on both. So, like the same thing can just like happen there as well and might turn the tides completely. And maybe yeah. you get lead seated, maybe you get miss five kicks in a row. It could happen. So, the race isn't over for sure. I mean, Wanli got the Wanli got the standard death on Rival Two, which is bite, no flinch, outer hit, and miss kick. That's the standard death that you're going to see yeah. most of the time. Chippy got kind of the weird one, um, getting poison powder. Because um, again, when you're over half health, uh, they like to use weird moves, and you know, generally you'll see sleep powder into leech seed there. Um, but you can see any move. I mean. The AI just does random stuff some, but it's favor to do certain things. But yeah, poison powder there is very rare. Uh, it can happen on both rival two and bill rival. Um, it's it's actually decent because it's you, you can kick through it, you know, instead of sleep powder. But um, and yeah, Chippy was trying to be um, be uh, sneaky and and let himself die and get the kick, which I, you know. W it's such a strange, weird niche situation that you wouldn't think about it, but again, the problem there is that um, the Abra um, doesn't have a damaging move, so... Oh, Wanli bagging on and on quick spin. Oh, he just ris risks it, okay. Uh, okay, that defeats the purpose a little bit, but okay, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, that was bad timing on Wanli there, so... He bagged so right when the dude decided to look. Uh, what's the significance of fighting this upper upper? Uh... Okay, so in the late okay. surge route, um, because you do surge late, um, your experience isn't gonna isn't gonna line up to the point where you you can be Blastoise for Giovanni, which is what you need. Um, just because the ex you get experience in early surge from doing the surge gym, um, which means that and you barely you basically barely miss it. So, which means that. Um, for the late surge route, you have an option between the top or bottom hiker, and you have the option for, um, depending on which one you do, determines which other hiker you do in, in Rock Tunnel. Oh, right, um, so if it's the top or bottom one of those two, right. Yeah, so basically when you do top hiker, um, you just do the standard um, double onyx geodude hiker in Rock Tunnel, and if you, but if you do the bottom one, um, you have to do... A different hiker that's right by the ladder, and he he basically has he has three geo dudes and that'll give you the experience. But um, you have to do you have to do that, or else you you don't hit level thirty three after both rockets, and th then you you can't you'll be still level thirty two, and then you can't use three rare candies and get to get to blastoise. So um, so when you're doing late surge, you just gotta be aware of what hiker you do, so you don't accidentally do the wrong one. If you do do the wrong one and you only notice before Giovanni, then you have to go downstairs and fight an optional. And it's, yeah, it's not great. So, um, so Let's see if Wanli gets this kick right here. Oh, he goes for the bite. No, bite. no, bite here is probably is honestly probably correct. Um, just because um, he he wants a little damage anyways, and kick here is just doesn't do him any good. So, so Wanli's got a lot of health here. Um, So, all right, Wanley through. Oh, Chippy doing the good movement. Nice. 
Um, so hey, in, Chippy in, and Eggman back. I didn't see. Uh, Chippy did the Chippy did the fast pass and Egg Eggman bagged. Uh, All right. Yeah. Um. One thing to note about Chippy's situation, but it's one of those things that's like, especially him, like he's a pretty seasoned oh, racer at this oh, point and practices a oh, lot. Oh, that's a cool kill on the Oddish. Got the got the water pulse confused and it hurt itself. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's cool. I mean, that's you miss the the favored range and and it's still, but yeah, that's annoying. One of the that that basically one of the big advantages. Late surge or not? It's not huge, but it's definitely nice. Which is when you have torn for twenty five and you do top hiker. You get you get 25 for that oddish, and then it becomes a, then you can pulse it instead of having to. Get it. Um, but when you miss the range, anyways, it, you're, it just sucks. But oh, um, I see, yeah. So one one thing to note about Chippy's so Chippy got one of the weirdest rival two fights, and it just you know it's one of those things where like the experienced runners. I mean, he's he's an experienced. Runner. That's that's a like a very rare fight, um, in a very rare situation. But actually, what he probably could have done if it worked, I actually don't know if it would have worked, would be um, instead of resetting, he could have just given the bird experience, uh, giving the bird the Abra experience, and then potentially either done both slow hikers or maybe done Dan to try to get the experience back instead of resetting the whole fight. But that's such a niche situation that like you wouldn't even think about that. and and. Because again, when you're running, when you're speed running and, and you're racing, you, you gotta be, you're making decisions instantaneous. You know, you can't sit around for 30 seconds and be like, what am I gonna, you know, what what I what, what am I gotta do? So that's very true. Yeah, he could have just uh, fought by the hikers, maybe or something like that. Yeah, yeah, but that's like so extreme. Like like you know, like reacting to that that situation is super weird. Like even like you don't see that ever. So. <clears throat> Like, you could do that fight a hundred times and not see that fight, you know? So, <laughs> so the fact that he gets that is very strange. Because um, a lot of a lot of weird stuff had to happen for that to occur, so... Yeah, I would, I, I would love to see uh, how Chip is feeling right now with the, with the rival one death and that weird rival fight right there. I mean, he's got to be like... He's got to really focus probably to keep his mental going here. I mean, I know I would be really upset at this point, so... I just can't imagine, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, it's it's you're just competing against the other people, and so, but it's just it's just like I said it. I've said it a million times, but yeah, something about race day, you know, the RNG doesn't go your way most of the time. So more so than um, you know what I love. I love this play by Wanley. I don't know if he has a kick or not. I love this play. So Wanley opted to bite the Raticate instead of kick it. Which I 1,000% agree with because um, quick attack, the quick attack w uh, wouldn't have put him into <clears throat> torrent, um, which would have one shot the eradicate. And the issue here is that if you kick the eradicate and miss, you can get hyper fang into quick attack crit, which will kill you. And he again no revive, so dying to camper Jeff, you go all the way back to Misty, but Cerulean. So um, biting is actually going to be the most consistent there, although. It's technically slower, but because um, if you get crit, it dies. If you flinch, you're good. Um, you're not relying on kick. Because uh, give you a, maybe a better HP value for the boat rival as well. If you get like double. Yeah. Or uh. Well. Well. No. Remember, your the late surge is going to be healing here. They're going to be oh, yeah, doing so the, so yeah, the, yeah. the boat heal. Yep. Yeah. So. Um, but I, 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 in that exact scenario that Wanli, Wanli um, ex experienced, I have died to Jeff in that, in that spot, um, going for kick there. Because again, you get kick miss, hyper fang, quick attack crit, and you're dead. So, or, or sometimes, or, yeah. Um, which is uh, <laughs> kind of a silly death, but, you know, um, it can happen, so. And uh, all the runners have... Well, I also died to Jeff in a different way last last round, yeah. Um, but that one, I couldn't do anything about that. That was just quick attack crit, you know, in torrent. Like, there's just nothing you can do. So Ekman and Juan lay on the fight here, but I think Ekman didn't grab the bike voucher yet. So. Yeah, no, nope. So So Juan Lee is still in a good lead, oh, nice. but... <laughs> I, I love I love that Juan Lee pulsed there, even though I'm, um, he got an insanely good bite roll. It's, it's just a good habit. 
Um, you generally don't want to bite that pigeon twice. Um, ah, the worst, the second worst kick miss in the game. So this is bad. Um, missing the first kick here means he's probably going to get leech seed here. Oh, oh. Which means he's got to swap. Okay, yep. at least the Ivysaur's whatever, but um, yeah. Wanley misses the two most important kicks in the run, which is on Rival 2, um, kick for your life, and then the first Ivysaur, or the kick on the on the uh, on Ivysaur first. Those are the most important kicks in the run, except for maybe... Oh, an egg went... Oh, evade is the Leech Seed. Wow, Leech Seed evade! But he also, legend. I think, missed, so... Okay, okay. I think we need to, I think we need to refresh on Wanley's... Okay, okay, should be fine. Um, well, these feeds lagging a little bit, but um, yeah, unclear what's going on right there. But Eggman cleared dive or at least. <laughs> so oh, this actually, is Chippy's stream is lagging for me as well. Yeah, I think the runners just need to their feeds refresh, and it should be fine. Um. Oh, Wanley is doing the fight again. Okay. <laughs> um, oh. Well. Hmm. I guess he, yeah, something, something bad must have happened. Um, and God, this is so tilting. Okay, poison powder. Uh, okay, he's got a. Oh, I miss oh his, my oh. God, man! <laughs> this and hurts my soul, reason. dude. Oh. God. Yeah, this is what they, I was talking they're, about. They're like all these... just getting some of the like Wally and Chippy are just getting some of the worst fights ever. Like, God, man. Um, We're talking about Dark Horse Ekman here, uh, if there's any, ever a chance, this is it. I mean, Ekman currently probably has, Ekman has the lead now, um, which oh, is yeah. uh, pretty interesting. Um, the, uh, yeah, the early game luck of Wanley and Chippy. Well, Wanley's early game luck was fine outside of uh, having to oh, potion yeah. on Sancho, like, but man, he, he missed three, he's missed three or four kicks on that Ivysaur turn one. I mean, ugh, it's just brutal. Um... So there's a the, the, there's a huge difference between okay he at least he gets vine whip turn one here so he can just win so um but the the one of the big differences of uh, late surge versus early surge on this fight is in early surge you start or late surge you start you start with level twenty six not twenty seven just basically because you need the rare candy for uh, right before Giovanni and you start at full health instead of um, usually close to Torrent or uh, around half health uh, in Boat Rival. Um, the early search fight is much better, um, basically because you, you don't really, based on what I was talking about with, with the AI before, the smart AI before, you, you don't really want to be above half. Um, early search is going to be top end way fast, like about 40, 40 seconds faster. Um, but it requires you to have a good surge fight that doesn't lose either doesn't kill you or doesn't lose you a lot of time. Um, it also requires you to hit more. Generally, will hit you'll have to hit more mega kicks because um, you don't have the some of the other options that the late that late surge has. So um, um, it also it affects it affects some other fights after surge. Um, uh, notably, Koga, your higher level, Blaine, your higher level. Um, it's uh, in a race setting, it's generally considered better. Um, but I mean, a good RNG early surge run is definitely hard to beat. Um, I would say, notably, Amoeba likes 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 to do early surge. And okay, don't hit him, Chippy. Okay, good, good, nice. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and you can get extremely good times with early surge, but you know, um, I was doing a race with Amoeba uh, last week, a practice race, and he died to surge five times. So you know, it could just completely kill your tournament run. But um... yeah, I think for the uh, it's it's definitely a thing where you get consistency with late surge, but some people might for early surge maybe because they're more used to the route or uh, yeah. more comfortable with the decision making and stuff like that. Yep. Um, but, um... Yeah, I mean, again, uh, late surge, 
it can be a, a viable option um, for PB attempts. I mean, it really depends on your PB. Um, I mean, if you have like a, you know, like a 202 or 201, it, it's pretty hard to beat to get a lower late surge time. It's definitely possible. Um, but if you're in the round the ballpark of 205 to 210, it's definitely the superior strategy j just until you get your PB a little bit lower just because of how consistent it is because you know if your PB's in that range and you and you know half the time you get to surge you die it's just like it's it sucks you know so um but it's yeah it's going to be different from the the main route that you that you know world record does or oh so interesting to know Ekman actually likes doing that run to bike um where he jumps over the ledge um it does make it, it is, easier to escape it is going to be it's going to be more consistent um or it, well it's it's less execution heavy um when you do when you do the normal run to bike it's a it's a shorter frame it's a it's a pretty short frame window where you basically have to get on the bike and if you don't get on it fast enough there's a chance he can hit you so Ekman i just do like that for, for races the, at least uh, that's a Good yeah. Setup. Yeah. I mean, r run to bike is definitely not an easy trick. Um, it, it's a decently straightforward one, but I wouldn't I wouldn't categorize it as easy, um, especially for like newer runners of the game when you're. Um, I think it's a big mistake people focusing on doing the correct movement or doing those run to bikes versus because you, you really just don't want to hit optionals as the number one. So if you're not if you're not super confident in run to bike, I, I would say there's definitely a lot of people that hit those optionals trying to do the run to bike. So, um, and again, if if you get standard luck and you you can just bag manip that guy. I mean, there's some scenario that looks up for a million years, but it all depends on your comfort level. But um, and I think well the the thing that's nice about that too is that if you notice that you're slow. Or you happen to not get on the bike, um, you can just not attempt it, and just run back and run to the spot, or just opt to just bag him anyways if you screwed up. So, um, but I mean, hitting that guy's not the end of the world. But yeah, you know. and especially like in this sort of race setting where it's uh, these differences in time loss are really much larger than in PB attempts or something. Yeah. Even doing like back manips, I know is something that uh, Wanley has said that he likes to do on, for example, the rock tunnel uh, spinner. Yeah. Um, it all. I mean, it all depends on your comfort level um, with with the with the passes. But when when you're in tourney and you're on stream and you're nervous, I would say it's. The chance of you messing up is definitely higher, um, even if you can do the pass 20 times in a row. If you get if you get on stream or you get you get a lead and just yeah, you know. Um, yeah, so there is a revive in Rock Tunnel. Um, so basically, if you go into Rock Tunnel without a revive, you have two options. Number one, you can save on Martha. Which you should do, trust me. <laughs> you should save on Martha if you don't have revive, because you really don't want to die to Martha. Um, a nice or, by Eggman on Martha. It's all good. Or, or you can. Uh, there's a revive to the left of, kind of out of the way. You gotta, you gotta burn a couple steps, but generally, um, if you, if your movement is good throughout Rock Tunnel, you, you won't have, you won't get an encounter at the end, but. Um, it's definitely a lot of steps. We'll see if Wanley grabs it here. Um, I guess either, if either one of them grabs it here. Um, but again, if you if either of them dies here with no revive to Martha, then they've um, you get you get ported back to Cerulean. So um, which and uh... and you already burnt a repel, so you'd you'd have to yeah, that'd be really awkward. You'd have to you'd probably have to buy a repel. An extra repel, sell something. Okay, Wami is going for it. Yep. Chippy is not. Chip, so Chippy's opting for save, so this is the different strategies. Um, so Chippy opting for the save here. Um, 
We're only opting for revive here. Again, you you can still die after revive if you miss kick. Um, Razor Leaf has a higher chance to crit than other moves, and um, even if you're really high health, you can get trolled by Mega Kick Mess. So, but on the flip side, this revive also gives you basically uh, the pass to say uh, pass on the save before Geo One. So that's uh... well. So here's here's the thing with late surge when you sell the nugget, um, you can actually buy revives in the lavender shop, which which is what Chippy's gonna opt to do because he doesn't have one. So those are the two options. It's either save on Martha without revive and then just buy one um, in lavender, or you could do what Monly does, take extra steps and get a revive and not save. I and see. So I it's realistically only for that fight then that it benefits you, or. Yeah, realistically, yeah, because, um, um, I mean, technically, you could die to the last Oddish Girl, um, you'd have to get, like, triple poisoned or something, I mean, it, so, um, that would, that'd be pretty, uh, unlikely, but, um, I would say the safest play here for Chippy is on that, on that, when he gets to that Oddish Girl, um, Make sure you're not dead to po miss kick poison powder hit, because that would be extremely bad. Um, and if he, I think if he misses kick and get poison gets poison powder, he probably should just opt to up to uh, opt to super potion and uh, make sure he's not dead to p miss kick poison powder again. So, um, yeah, that's it. So Gio Giovanni without revive is generally not advised. And then yeah, like Bang said. Um, you can also die to the Arbok in in the, in hideout. Um, poison sting poison or poison sting crit poison or depending on your health, poison sting crit like or bite crit or you don't see it very often, um, but it's not impossible. So. Um, so one of the big differences f with the late and early surge route for this split, um, obviously early surge is always going to do um, the hiker at the bottom um, with the double onyx trainer, or the, with the double onyx and the geodude, whereas late surge it depends on what hiker you do on the bill split. Um, the other thing is you get punished, a you get punished for not having torrent um, being being in the late surge route, um, notably, as we see, the the Jigglypuff is a range um, <laughs> without torrent with late surge. When Monly actually just missed it, which is uh, is the Arbok even a range? Uh, no, no, it's only a. I believe it's only a range at level thirty three. I could be wrong. It might be like a really bad range, but I think it's a range. Uh, oh yeah, so Wanley, yeah, Wanley, oh, I guess I just, I actually just missed that, um, Wanley did get Disable Hit, um, I guess he, uh, yeah, he must, he must have bit the Pidgey, oh, so he, we could have had a, an Ananen situation, so, in Ananen's race, he got Miss Jigglypuff range, Disable Hit on Water Pulse, um, and then he got Whirlwinded by the Pidgey. So crazy niche, but um, <laughs> that could have happened to Wanley there. Um, I, I actually didn't see if he got disable hit, but he did. Yeah, that that uh, that Jigglypuff is a very favored range, but yeah, just punished by late surge a little bit. Um, um, the the other the other piece is uh, the the two belt the the bell sprout. On uh, on the first Oddish girl, uh, Alicia is a is a range and that can status you, which sucks. It's not a range in in early search. Um, and then yeah, that's just a trainer that you hit. And then also the the fight uh, against Martha is going to be different in um, late surge because um, looks like Chippy's feet is down again. With a yeah, it probably just got a refresh. Um, when you're early surge, um, early surge with very high attack um, can uh, 
you can want you can kick the Oddish to avoid getting status. Um, but when your late surge uh, kick does not kill because you're a lower level. Well, I mean, yeah, th there's been a lot of crazy RNG in this. No, oh, yeah, it's it's been interesting for sure. And uh, yeah, still everyone is kind of neck and neck and neck, which is which is so strange with all of this RNG going on. You yeah, would think someone would have pulled. I mean, far it's kind of but... it's kind of nice that it's sort of all evened out a little bit. I think um, I think Wanli and Chippy have definitely gotten more bad luck than Ekman, but they've all gotten pretty bad luck um, in the early game. I mean, yeah, getting out of Rock Tunnel with the 57 or definitely not what you want um i would say like a good a good run you're in you usually would get like a, th a 54 or so uh and wanley and chippy definitely get 50 54s in practice a lot so to to, to get to tourney and you get a 50 or 57 you know and you're three three or four minutes off of your average um definitely sucks um for sure so yeah but at least they at least they have each other's company so they can look at the stream and be like oh He's yep. doing bad as well. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's definitely frustrating to get bad RNG and then see the person in first that's five minutes ahead of you because, you know, <laughs> they, they got super good luck and you didn't, you know, but... Um... So, yeah, Ekman still got the lead. Um... Uh, yeah, so late surge, you want to make sure that you're water pulsing that Vulpix. Um, it does not die to no torrent water gun. Um, if you do, <laughs> if you do not, if you do not, uh, water pulse that, it, that thing does have roar, uh, which is really bad too, <laughs> so, um, it, it's, it is, it's happened to me in run two, and it's really bad, because, uh, it's just extremely slow. So Chippy having a uh, torrent for, for the splits always nice, um, having torrent as late surge, um, you eliminate the Ekans ranges with Water Pulse. One lay um, actually very close to Torrent here as well, but doesn't quite have it yet. Let's see if it gets quick attack by this Radicate. Yeah, his, so this Radicate, just like Camper Jeff's, definitely sucks. This one's definitely worse because it has Scary Face. Um, Wanley just opting for Water Pulse, which I I, I, I don't disagree with. Um, yeah, now he has Torrent. <laughs> because I mean, if he gets quick he attack, gets quick attack, yeah, it's torrent. So, um, but yeah, getting scary face there can be really bad, especially if you're trying to hit mega kick. I think Wanley's just, and I, I, I honestly, I like it. I think Wanley's at the point after what's happened, the amount of kicks that Wanley's missed in crucial moments. I think he's just said, you know what, I'm just not gonna mega kick. Like, <laughs> you know, it's faster to do but it's just it's not it's not working out for me today so i'm definitely not gonna mega kick which um yeah i like um bite generally you can bite um twice pretty consistently except for um except for martha's uh martha's bulbasaur um but generally biting twice means you have the chance of getting status to status to uh, guaranteed status almost so um but if the kicks aren't aren't hidden, you know, it's not a uh, not good. So, uh, yeah. So Wanley's got torrent now, which is good. Um, oh, glare missed by our book on Ekman. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, this is just it. this is just the Ekman difference for sure. I mean, Ekman's <laughs> played solid. Um, again, he's definitely gotten the luckiest of the three. Oh, for um, sure, yeah. But, um. You know, he's definitely played good. He he's, he hasn't gotten the, the best run ever, but it's it, it's definitely yeah. Wanley and Chippy's rival fights have been unbelievable, like uh, amazing, like how bad they've been. Like <laughs> so, um, it just makes they it that much more interesting, though. Yeah, definitely has been playing good and maintaining the lead thus far. And uh, I mean, I think uh, he's doing pretty well. Yeah, I mean that's one of the one of the one of the interesting parts is as as people who, you know the the people who speedrun this game know and speedrun Pokemon games in general is that like doesn't sometimes you know you're relying on RNG not necessarily 
you know, Super Mario 60 or Mario 64 execution type. Like you're 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 dealing with RNG, which you can't control. So you could play as good as humanly possible. Might still just get a bad time, just because that's just how it goes, you know. So um, is that it? On the range without torrent on the second uh, it, target scan. It, yes, the the Ekans are both ranges without torrent. Um, so yeah, unfortunate paralysis there for Ekman, but it's just it's just one of the things you've got to deal with to getting uh, doing late search. Um, although again, because you're, you're you're basically you're trying to get um, after Boat Rival, which is. Uh, decently hard. It, it definitely helps to get quick attack from Pidgeotto, um, although that the Pidgeotto on definitely likes to sand attack you, just because of how high your health is, because you're at full, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. And also, they take a lot of damage. You, you know, these Squirtles are not going to take as well on that fight, just because of how beefy they are, so... Yeah, definitely seems like uh, this route is way more punishing if you don't get the Torrent. Uh, yeah. To early search. Yep. Um, yeah. But but again, even it, it you can get torrent. Like not having torrent um, right now. Like for for not having a torrent for hideout. Definitely I, means either one of two things. Number one, you um, you um, you had to safety heal somewhere, um, or. Or you just got no damage on Boat Rival, and you were like at full when you did the the split. Because there's a lot of stuff that can get you to Torrent for this split. Now Torrent for Giovanni is a whole other thing. That Torrent for Giovanni never happens usually. Super rare, but um, you know you got the Oddish's Poison powdering you if you miss kick. You've got um, Venonat damage. You've got uh, both slow pokes can hit you. The, the Pidgey can quick attack, the both Pidgeys can quick attack, um, and you got Volpick quick attack, Raticate quick attack. Like, you can get Torrent, it's not, but, you know. Mm, yeah. Most yeah. of the time, you get in a situation like Chippy, where you're just outside of Torrent. Um, you get close, but, yeah, you, you just don't get it, so. Yeah. Ekman adept, adeptly dodging the double mega punch as well. I think he would have been dead there. Of course, has to revive, but it's uh, good to see that he keeps getting this. Uh, he keeps getting away with it, so to say. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, mega punch miss. Okay, that's that is significant. That is good. Um. And to confusion. Oh. Okay. Just okay. All right. Fine. What do you think about this HP value? 16? Uh, yeah, it's good. So, um, you want to be... You want to have... So, because because Late Surge does Surge now, after after Geo... Oh, oh well, he's there dead! There goes one, oh, God, man, you just... Oh, you hate to see it. Geo deaths are just so frustrating, because, again, he doesn't have smart AI. It's not like gym leaders or the rival fights. So, okay, at least the Sentry gets knocked out here um, yep. pretty fast. Um, oh man, okay, so he should—he probably should go for a bite here. Oh, I guess no, I guess bite is bite's wrong. Um, okay, just don't crit or anything. Some okay. damage here. Um, yeah, he he needed the revive. I I don't know if Chippy bought one. I assume Chippy bought one in Lavender Shop. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, thirty-four HP. It looks. Around what you want, right? Potion ones. And... Yeah. So I was just saying that, like, um, because late surge does surge now, you need to have ideally you need to have torrent for surge's gym, which allows you to water pulse the surge or uh -huh. the surge right you. Um, you can set up an X special on Voltorb, which is not the end of the world. It's just kind of slower, but um, um, a lot of times getting trolled on Giovanni, you know, with double mega punch miss or like no damage at all and then you don't end up with torrent it's kind of annoying but um yeah um when you have torrent the G the kangaskhan is a 98 percent to two shot with water pulse torrent um but a lot of times um you won't have torrent and then you got you got a pulse and then when he 
most of the time you're dead to two mega punches, which, and he has the opportunity to use two mega punches because you don't have torrent. So yep. you either need like crit, pulse, or confuse, or um, the other niche strat you can do is um, if you get mega punched into mega dead dead to mega punch again, you can bite the Kangaskhan to try to flinch it, so you can save a turn. Uh, but again, he's only one in three to use Mega Punch, you know, if you're dead to it. So it's like it's just like Liam with Scratch. Yeah. So, I do like chancing it there for sure. I don't know. Yeah, you should. You should. There's not really a better option um, uh, because again, if he if you super potion there and then he um, Mega Punch misses you, then your health is at, your health is like so high and it's like screwed up for the next couple fights. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Unfortunate to die to Geo. It's, I would say it's definitely not favored. Um, yeah. yeah. I think Eggman got pretty good cans here, second attempt. Fairly fast. God, okay. Eggman <laughs> doing weird stuff. Okay, he's good. <laughs> um, so yeah, Chippy's definitely... Chippy has caught, up, caught back up to Wanley. Um, with uh, Wanley's yeah, bad RNG. They're pretty close, though. Uh, He's the one who's got to catch up right now, so let's see what he's got in the back. Okay, Chippy doing the fast cans and getting... Gets rewarded. Yeah. Oh. So basically the way that the fast cans, that can cycle works is that the, that sailor is on a, a frame timing for moving. And if you time up his, if you time it up perfectly, then he can't hit you because he's you you move past him on a frame that he doesn't isn't isn't able to spin on, um, which then allows you to not have to bag manip him, um, which is what which is what Chippy did. So um, doing that can path is nice because if you if you happen to get a can along the way, you can avoid a bag manip um, for most of the cans, except for one or two. So. Um, no one hitting the first try can here. Everyone hitting second time. So, yeah, cans definitely out. suck, especially in PB attempts because it, it's it can be such a swing, you know. Um, that's why sometimes you'll see like t top runners opt for yoloing and not saving, just because the top end of just not saving and finding the can is pretty fast. Because if you look at the difference between like. If you get into a four can situation and you got to reset three times versus just not saving at all and just hitting it is is you can save a lot of time um, if you pull it off. Um, obviously, if you YOLO cans and get the wrong can, it resets the can, so it you gotta you gotta check them again and find that's the first switch again. So, um, yeah, much struggling to find the fly destination there, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, Ekman coming up on Lavender Rival. Uh, Chippy's done with Surge, and Wanley's getting on Surge. Um... Okay, Ekman opting for save. Um, don't hate it. He does have the lead. Um, yeah. This fight is pretty consistent. Um, you can still die, um, obviously, but um, it is possible. Um, Wanley and Chippy definitely will not save. Um, so what, what are the odds of missing that kick? Is it it's one percent. So yeah. Um, well, I had that yesterday, so it does happen. So, it does happen. Um, I think I went like two or three years of play, two years of playing this game without ever seeing a one percent kick miss. So, um, and then I started playing round two, and I missed like three of them or something in like a couple <laughs> months. Um, okay, he does. Okay, yeah, Ekman's got torrent. Um, he, Ekman's Just gonna barely. have to stall here. Um, what's nice about this here is if he if Ekman misses this kick here, which is one percent, he um, he's not dead to Vine Whip or Razor Leaf or whatever. Um, Razor Leaf does like twenty six damage or something um, around twenty to thirty. So Ekman is gonna have to stall here um, because you do need kick or you do need torrent or ideally you would want torrent for uh, the Koga split and. The, the rest of the Lavender Tower split, so... 
Okay, <laughs> it's funny. Every when you see this fight and you see people mega kick, it's like you're you hold your breath sometimes because you're just like, <laughs> I mean, it is yeah. one percent. You're not you're not gonna see it, but at the same time, like with how common one percent encounters happen. Um, yeah, dude, I swear they put a longer <laughs> delay on the mega kick. Like after you press it, there's like uh, yeah, there's it gotta be wait. like ten frames extra or something. Wait to see, yeah, wait to see if it misses. I mean, dude, you could almost close your eyes. I mean, the the, <laughs> the biggest one is is. Is boat rival, you know, because the standard boat rival fight. Um, okay, Wanli opting for yeah. So Wanli, Wanli did start this fight a little low, a little low. Um, he was actually fine to go there. He wasn't in range, but um, he obviously was a little low health. Um, so I, I, I like. Oh wait a minute. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, this is actually awkward now. Um, so. The, so the guard spec is set up for to to prevent the Pidgeotto from um, sand attacking you, but it also prevents lowering your attack from Gyarados Intimidate. So this kick's not going to kill. I don't know if Wanli re oh he critted anyways. Oh, doesn't care. It doesn't matter, dude. Yeah. Hilarious, dude. Hilarious. Yeah, I don't think he realized that. He well he yeah he definitely didn't realize that the the guard spec because um, or else he would have gone for bite there, but. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, when you're when you're minus nice. when you're neutral attack, that mega kick does not does not kill uh, does not kill the Gyarados. Now he wasn't. Now to be fair, he wasn't dead to Thrash. Thrash does not do 18. He was dead to Thrash crit there. Dude, he's um, just made of different stuff. Clearly, he knew it was coming. I think the play there was probably um, you probably should bite there and try to get the flinch and then kick. Um, yeah. But that is one of the weird things about being a little too low on... I mean, he... Well, yeah. He probably shouldn't have healed. Um, Quick Attack does 7 to 9 here by Pidgeotto. And he was at 10, so... I mean, even if he got it last turn, it's like, yeah, he could have... Uh, he, he'd be a little low health, but as long as he didn't miss 1% kicks, he, he would have won the fight. So I don't necessarily like the option to potion there, but... Um, Obviously, you are dead if he quick attack crits you on the last turn, and that would have really. So maybe Wanley was just playing around that, but. Um... And, and again, you. I'm just interested in what he had planned if he doesn't hit the crit there. It was probably an. Yeah, it was Super probably an oversight. Um... Oh, it, when what? What would you super potion? Like if you miss the crit there on the mega kick, like what do you do? Well, then you're gonna you're gonna take Thrash, which is gonna do um, like 12 to 15 damage, I believe, and you're at eight. So then you would just you'd miss. Well, oh, if you miss the kick. Yeah. Oh, if you miss no, the kick. No, no, no. If you miss that, no. If you just miss the range, do just then bite it's, and then I don't, heal before I, I don't. Or? I don't believe it's a range on Gyarados at at, at neutral attack, which again, it, it's neutral attack there because of Intimidate because. Um. So I would say, yeah, it, it, it'd be pretty straightforward. You you kick, miss the. You, it's not a, it's not a range without plus one. Um, I mean, I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure it's not a range yeah, at neutral. Kick, miss the kill, and then you just heal before eradicate or something. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So what you would do is you would, uh, on the on the spinner pass, you would just bag manip and potion, um, which would give you like 23, 24, or whatever. Um, so. And then you wouldn't lose a ton of time there. That'd be, that'd be fine. That's what most people would do. Um, mm -hmm. I would say the the last trainer, the last rocket trainer in the, in the tower, actually can be a little sketchy because actually it's actually significant for Wanli because um, he's actually in a very weird situation here um, because he actually can die to this last. Rockets um, from quick attack crit. Uh, I think one quick attack crit is doesn't kill him. Um, but if he gets quick attack here by the Raticate or by the Ratata, I'm pretty sure he's dead to quick attack crit. And if you die, and he doesn't have revive, so you you if you die here, you gotta go. You gotta do the whole tower again. So you definitely don't want to do that. Um, Double crit oh. isn't impossible either, as we saw with uh, Chippy's rival one, so like, it could happen. 
It's well, not, like, well, no, it, it would be it would be one quick attack. It would be quick attack from both, and he'd have to get crit by either the first or second one. That would be that would be the situation. He would he would die to that. Um, basically, because of how same type attack bonus works with criticals. Um, it's it's gonna and it because it's a normal type because rat rat is a normal type and quick attack is a normal type move the the crits are gonna do way more than they normally would uh, where they would normally do double damage they would they do even more than that because of the same it's the same type of right, attack right. bonus so, it's... so quick attack does like I think like six here or like five to six five to seven here but crit's gonna do like fifteen or sixteen something like that. Um, so most likely Wanli will if he gets quick attack here. Yeah, again, I, I don't know the exact range for radicate quick attack crit. Um it I don't know how happen. much damage sure, that does. Surely it but happen. If he avoids quick attack from the, the small rat, then he's fine. Um I don't it's not gonna do twenty four. Um but if he gets quick attack from small rat and then there's a then he can actually die there. Which at that point, I'm not really sure what you do. You probably you could risk it because it's pretty unlikely. But um, yeah, worst case scenario. I, well, to be honest with you, in this in this situation, he, I think he just risks it because he's behind and like, oh god. Okay, <laughs> does it do 18? Oh, no, no. Um, I don't think so. Um, I doubt it does 18. Okay, he doesn't get it anyways, okay. Oh. 18 would be a lot, so I'm not really sure, but... Uh, yeah, it just goes to show that, yeah, like, you really want revive for all of the run, pretty much. You don't want to ever have to use it, so... But... He was fine there. He was probably... He was probably safe from crit, um... But... Yeah, just one thing to note is, that, yeah, not having a revive for that tower is a little weird. It's... Super unlikely to, 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 to happen, but at the same time, lots of unlikely stuff has happened, so... <laughs> yeah, never know in these kind of races. It yeah. feels like the RNG just piles on you sometimes, it's just... I'm I'm almost positive Quick Attack crit kills there at, at 18, because it does 7 to, 7 to 9, and he's at 18 health, so with the same type of attack bonus, yeah, it for sure would have uh, would have <laughs> killed him there. But that's like a... I don't. I think. I think quick attack is one in four, or one in three, and then it's a one in sixteen to crit. So it would have been such a crazy death, but not impossible. So, but yeah, I think you just can't really do anything there. Um, which is why a, a common strat you'll see is buying two revives in lavender. Um, okay, Wanley, I don't agree with this, but okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm. I mean, this is this here, is but... this is this is fine. All right, yeah. Um, yeah kind of a weird pass to do that way, but and the guy actually spin there. Um, that is safe, but he uh, he only unfortunately gets the uh, the guy looking there. But you can well, stop the bike. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. What well, happened? Oh, you got, that. you got you got to hold B. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I've just been turning back if I miss it. Yeah, I did. I did that when I first started playing too. Don't worry about that. So that's that, that's oh. nothing crazy. Oh, yeah, right. you got you got to hold. Hey. You learn something new every day, man. <laughs> there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of information. That's why right. it's really helpful if you if you run this game to like watch other 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 runners of this game cuz you you'll you'll pick up on a lot of stuff cuz there, Yeah, there's I, only I so much runners, a guide can uh, yeah. It's just watching this game, I you don't see many runs back to rock tunnel. <laughs> yeah, and that's why it's nice to like races are very good for PB attempts because you um you get a chance to play the whole game because you have to finish you know so um yeah well, you get a great. lot of late you get a lot of late game practice um so yeah good showcase here of that <laughs> so yeah i mean it, it it the skill of a of a racer um versus like a regular runner is um being able to adapt with safety strats and fig figure out a way to finish the run no matter what happens, you know, so... Um, 
Okay, while only opting, so while only opting, uh, not to get the revive, um, and that is because he only has his Blastoise. Um, his his HM friends are both um, deceit. Oh no, they're not. No. Uh, okay, he's probably he's probably just opt. He's probably just gonna opt to. Um, yeah, Juan is uh, in full YOLO mode now. Clearly. Well. Yeah, I suppose. Um, he is behind. There's still a lot of game to be played. Um, let's see, how far how far behind is he? He's, he's, he's only like a minute behind. It's doable, but... Is Ekman fine here with 32 HP? Yeah, so... Um, well... I want you so, to wheezing, Dylan. So, with the late surge route, because you're level 42, um, the surf range improves to an 11 out of 16. So, oh, all right. you have a higher chance yeah. of just actually one-shotting it. Um, so he heals um, with that, of course, as well. Muck, Muck also does, and Weezing also do slightly less damage. Um, so, Weezing does 26 to 31 with this Ekman Squirtle, which is really nice, yeah. So he's actually just safe, you know? Like, being higher levels is pretty pretty dope, so... Yeah, um, but Cheapy also very close to Ekman here right now so this this fight yeah. could could just like flip the tables completely here yeah i mean anything can happen on this fight um just again a, a good showcase of the random ai that can happen but it's not uh, the random smart ai it's still smart ai so it still is favored to do certain things and it still will guarantee do certain moves um like if you're dead to sludge it will always sludge you but um ekman hits Chippy also gets. Okay, Chippy hits hit. good. Okay. All right. But I mean, this this muck generally loves to just use minimize first. Um, if you're not in range of sludge, uh, kill. So, but yeah. sometimes if it acid armors, you're you're safe because that does nothing. Uh, it can toxic you, which is hilarious. If that's like poison powder, it's like pretty rare. Um, and then sometimes it can just decide like to. Um, to sludge sludge you and not minimize you and then if you get sludge poison you just die so um but yeah generally the late surge koga with level 42 is going to be definitely safer um i mean you can still miss the 11 and 16 range on wheezing um but in terms of like torrent and and having good health to not be in sludge range you have better chance just because of how much your and defenses are increasing. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Wally yeah. also opting to not save without revive to... Uh, yeah, he's I definitely... don't agree. Uh, Unless he... Actually... Oh, wait. Maybe he... Oh, maybe he did buy. Maybe maybe I'm still... He bought a revive in... Uh, it's in, possible. Uh, I wasn't looking. He may he may have bought a revive in Lavender, which if he did, that means, he, that means he's got two. Oh, he missed the range, though. Uh, Smokescreen's pretty funny. Okay, he's just gonna go for it again. Don't miss. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess I just assumed that he Oof. doesn't only has one revive, but he actually misses the rage again. Twice, jeez, man. Oh Yeesh. no! Luckily, the luckily the wheezing doesn't do anything except for Don't just miss. heal twice. He so At he doesn't. He miss. Okay, so right. he only has two hyper potions. So, um, but. That is correct to go for the range again there, but yeah, to miss 11 and 16 twice is pretty funny. Um, I mean, that's yeah. basically just like two mega kicks. Um, um, but yeah, it's nice that he got smoke screen. Um, again, just yeah, random it's two AI mega thing. Kicks, but we know how Juan Liz has been with mega kicks this run, so like, it's not a given. <laughs> well, actually, it's funny because he he was minus one ac accuracy there because he did get smoke. He actually hit two mega kicks. And then missed the range twice, which is missed two mega kicks basically. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that was, that's interesting. Schrodinger's mega kick. That's um, yeah. Chippy, Chippy has caught up to Ekman, um, which is interesting. Um, they're like neck and neck now. Yeah. Uh, only not too far behind. Uh, a little over a minute. So the strategies that you employ being in being behind as well is slightly different than when you're ahead. So, 
Um, so, so is this a? Do you these routes converge like after Sabrina, or where do you, where does this uh, route uh, converge with the early search one? Uh, it'll be it'll be for the Erica fight. Um, actually, no, it'll be um, once you enter uh, Sylphco, I believe, because at that point. Um, the early, the late surgers can fly to Saffron because they've already biked through Saffron, whereas the early surgers have to fly to Celadon after do doing Erica, and then they got. But I think once they're both in Sylphco, I believe it's, um, I believe it's it's e it's completely evened up, um, unless I'm missing something. Um, yeah, pretty pretty sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, don't mess up the, the questions. Um, um, you, you, you really want to make sure when you play this game, because there is a lot of mindless mashing that does happen in this game, uh, and you can get distracted. Um, but certain certain times when you're mashing, you really gotta you really gotta press the correct thing, whether it's A or B. You know, things like um, Teaching them, teaching or not teaching a move, you know these questions. Um, you really gotta not zone out and just start mashing. And then obviously the bill thing is uh, saying yes to bill is uh, is GG. So um, really can't really can't do that. So um, best strategy is just you know when you when you go up to these questions and or talking to Bill. I mean you can mash if you're. If you're sure about the timing, but the best thing is to just press the one button, you know, whether it's A or B. Don't even press the other one. Don't even put your... Don't even get near the other buttons, you know. Yeah, Chippy and Ekman are literally neck and neck here. Yeah. Same one. It's, uh... It's definitely gonna be interesting. I mean, you would expect... Chippy to maybe maybe uh, pull ahead since he's been doing so uh, thus far. But uh, I guess uh, the next rival. Uh, do you think that's a pivotal point of RNG? Yeah. Um, I mean, again, once you get once you start getting into the Blizzard department of 93% Blizzards, um, there can be swings. I would say they're not super likely. Um, you can also opt for double x axe strats um that that puts you in a situation where uh, you can still get crit by the pidgey the pidgeot uh, on that fight um but i, I would I say the runners pick up more x accuracies than than they would make yeah i'm not sure about that so at least for late surge um when you sell nuggets uh, you're going to be buying seven x accuracies um and you're going to the 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 the, the, the time it's used the probably on lance um um, for absolute safety, so you're not risking four to five, ninety-three percent blizzards. It is slower because most of the time you're going to have to heal twice. But um, doing lance with ninety-three percent blizzards in a race is generally not advised um, unless you're behind or trying to catch catch up. And you don't even die some of the some of the time. Um, but if you're a little too low and you um, miss on Dragonite. You can just die to outrage, um, so. But I would say that um, we're, we're not going to see very much um, variance uh, until we get to I mean, until we get to self rival, um, and then even then, if they both opt go for double X hack on this fight, um, then it won't be much of an issue. Um, you do have to heal to slightly higher health than you normally would, but. Again, when you run good defense rash, um, you've got a lot of flexibility on quick attack and um, how much damage wing attack does compared to like running mild. So, um, I would say the the one chance Wanley has, he probably won't do it, um, but he could, which is not do Tangle Strap. So, generally this fight requires you Erica fight requires you to hit a 70% blizzard. That's going to be the fastest top end is to just surf, bite, and blizzard. Um, there is an alternate strategy you can use with using an X special on the Tangela with Torrent. Um, it's a little slower because 
using an X item is slow, and then, you know, Tangela's gotta use, it'll use Ingrain most of the time, or it'll use Giga Drain. But it does guarantee that you one-shot the Vile Plume in Torrent. My guess is Chippy and Ekman will definitely go for it. Definitely go for the Tangela strats. Um, Wally probably will will still too, because it's 70%, it's worse than Mega Kick, and... Um, if you don't get that first one, um, you know, if you miss two, you die, generally. If you miss one, you're, you're gonna get and then and hit another one. I would say most people don't go for Blizzard on this fight, especially in a race, because it's just, it's just too risky, so. Yeah, honestly, I think one isn't that far behind where he really needs to be doing I, I don't, he's not, he, it, he's not gonna do it. I don't think I would either, just because um, um, Wanley doesn't trust that Blizzard. I don't. E I mean, I don't either. That 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 Blizzard is uh, not great. I mean, I think Wanley's missed four or five in a row on this fight before, so um, he probably won't go for it. Um, but it, it, in theory, would be a way for him to try to catch up, as if he just decided to go for it. He probably won't. He, he, there's a lot of variance in um, Elite Four where he can catch up, so... Um, and then, obviously, yeah, missing 93% Blizzards on the next on the next two rival fights, but... Yeah, I mean, in the Elite Four, it's... I mean, odds are someone's gonna get unlucky. So, it's just like... I mean, the biggest... Not Biggest points of variance are going to be um, uh, Lorelei, um, Lorelei, the best Lorelei versus the worst Lorelei are very, very, very different. Um, you can lose like minutes on that fight or or gain a minute on that fight. Like getting Hailless and Flinch Crit is it's so crazy good. But okay, should be doing the pass here. Good. Okay. Okay, and both passes are good. So basically, when they open the bag there, or not open the bag, when they open the, the, the start menu there, um, what they're checking for is they're checking to see if that walker decides to start moving down. And if you time it right, um, and he doesn't look, and he doesn't move down, then he can't he can't hit you unless you're slow. So, um, but. You gotta be you gotta be ready. You gotta react well because um, if you see him start to move and you start flash and then you don't react to him moving and looking down, then you can hit him and that's that's one of the worst optionals to hit in the game for sure. Um, it's got he's got five Pokemon and they're pretty beefy, so you you can't even I don't even think you can win. I mean you might be able to win, but you you'd lose at least two two to three minutes um, if you even survived. So. Um, yeah, you don't want to hit that guy. Again, safest thing is just the bag manip, but um, it is a very straightforward pass if you react well. So, okay, Ekman opting to save, and Chippy's—I don't believe Chippy saved. Um, I think Chippy's probably going for double X X strats, and I am right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he's going for double X X here. Um, so his health's like a Ekman little too down. high. Oh, oh, crits actually... Uh-oh, wait, wait, wait. It does 16 to... I think it does 16 to 19. Let's see. Okay, well, not okay he's much fine. HP, he's fine, he's fine. The crit actually did help there. He, I don't think he would have had Torrent there. Um. And they're neck and neck again. Yeah. Uh, now let's see if Ekman misses, I guess. So he's Ekman opted punished. to save and not do double x x strats, so... It's a Chippy cannot miss Blizzard, whereas Ekman, it's only 93%, so... Um, but once you get through the, the Venusaur, it's, you're in decent shape. Um, missing on the Gyarados doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna die, it just means that if he Dragon Rages you... If he Dragon Rages you, you do die. Um, but he's not guaranteed to Dragon Rage you. For some reason, this oh, game... It's... When it comes to, like, static amount damage moves like Dragon Rage... It doesn't have smart AI with that, so if it sees you're at 40 health, it's not gonna it's not gonna make the connection that Dragon Rage does 40 and use Dragon Rage, which is kind of silly. But um, 
good in our in, in our instance, so because uh, you would definitely die every time if you miss Blizzard on 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 uh, Gyarados. Yeah. Okay, Wanli. I guess oh, I guess Wanli accuracy already. Yeah. Okay. All right, so. Well, he's got to hit the next two blizzards. I don't know if he double X act. He probably did. He did not. Oh. oh. Is he oh, out? Oh, dude. No, I. I don't think he saved. No, dude. You hate to see it, man. I mean, he. Oh, had you to absolutely yeah. hate to see it. Oh. Man. God. I'm angry for him. Oh, yeah. I didn't jinx it! I didn't jinx it! I didn't jinx it. Yeah. Oh man, that, yeah, that sucks. I mean... That really sucks. Yeah, so he, that means... He, he, yeah. Wanley's gonna be out of the tournament, unfortunately. Um, which really sucks, because he's a very good, very good racer, and... He just, uh... Yeah, I mean, again, he's behind by a minute, and... That fight is... Very unlikely to lose, um, so he opted to not save, which I completely agree with, and yeah, it's just a 93% chance, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was behind, he has to go for those, but um, I guess the other way of looking at it is he could have thought that maybe maybe his third place time could have still advanced him in the tournament, but with the way that this race has been going, with all the unluckiness and stuff, maybe... I don't know if I would be very uh, trusting of this time being fast enough. Whatever this run ends up being. Yeah, really, really upsetting for Wanley for sure. Um, Wanley definitely got very unlucky throughout the whole run. Um, I don't think he had a revive there. Um, I mean, he obviously didn't save. I don't think he he may, he may have been able to. Save if he revived and but I mean yeah at that point it's just yeah that's just how it goes unfortunately with when first and second advance and you're in third you know 75% through the run so well at least we still have a race on our hands because these guys are kind of close by to one another but uh, yeah that well that just sucks well I mean, well they... unfortunately that th this race beca is, has become a little bit it yeah, doesn't matter anymore because yeah. they just have to finish in order to uh, advance. So to the next rounds. Um, yeah, really upsetting for Wanley. I that sucks. I mean, he got super unlucky for so many instances in the run. But yeah, to die to that, I mean, that's like again, it's ninety three percent chance to to hit. So that's one of those you. That's like that's what happens to icy icy that fight. But that is that is how it goes, unfortunately. But that is why you'll see runners opt for double X a lot of times. They're just quite that dying in that situation. But um, Wanley went for the optimal fastest fight for no save because he's behind, and I totally agree with it. But uh, what can you do? What can you do, man. Okay, Chippy getting... I think Chippy... Uh, Chippy probably still has his person, if I had to... Um, both of them avoiding confusion, though. Generally, when you have person here, it's nice. Makes the fight pretty consistent, so... If you don't, it's very scary, because... Venomoth confusion can spell your, your doom. Yeah. How lo how likely is that to confuse? Ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, pretty unlikely, but um, more likely than missing a blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry for twisting the knife, finally, but you know, blizzard blizzard miss is. Yeah, it's very very unfortunate. Um,
Yeah. Okay. So Let's now they're both the entering uh, Giovanni. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the things that, uh, you know, makes the tournament interesting, you know, is that um, I would say one is definitely was one of the favorites for sure. But, you know, when the RNG doesn't go your way, it, there's just nothing you can really do. So, um, but he is a great runner of this game and a great and a very good racer. So, can't really, uh, really nothing you can do about that situation. Yeah. Good emotes just, too. Sometimes if sometimes if the game doesn't want you to win. Crit! Then... Oh my god, it's a crit. Chippy gets a crit on his own incentive, that's funny. Alright. <laughs> uh Chippy is donating one dollar for every crit in Giovanni's gym. Uh the reason that that matters is because this is the most consistent split with Torrent in the game, so um Yeah, if you wanna with... grab a cup of coffee, now's the time. With Torrent with Torrent you can't there's there's no ranges. Um, as long as you have enough surfs for the, as long as you have two surfs for the Machokes, um, everything else dies, um, with Water Pulse, um, in Torrent, so you, you know, Water Pulse can't miss, there's no ranges, there's no quick attack moves or anything. So the only thing that loses you time, theory, is critical hits, because they are useless and they do not matter. So it's a pretty boring split. Doug Trio does outspeed you. Um, it is it is below a speed threshold that most runners will run, um, so you really don't see it um, really at all. Um, now, if your parameters happen to be lower than 21 speed, or even like if they happen to be super low, then in theory it could be a speed tie. But at that point, you would you can always carbose. Use Carbos on a speed on a um, on your Blastoise to avoid that speed tie. So yeah, I don't know if, if it's outspeeding you. Maybe you should. I think it's, the strat is to rethink your uh, parameters for your yeah. Strat, probably. So the only That's, the uh, only actual situation that would ever matter is um, if you happen to hit a Squirtle that was around a Squirtle you were trying to hit that happened to have viable stats except for speed. Um, then you could consider running that because you you hit the manip, but it's on the wrong frame. But it just happens to be meet all the other requirements. Um, but in general, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't run under 20 speed. Um, there's if you run the lowest parameters on with 21 speed, you're gonna see squirtles pretty much every time or very frequently. So um, it's not really worth it to run lower than that, so... So you would, yeah, you generally don't see it, but... Um, like, I think if I was doing PB attempts and I happened to hit a, uh, a turtle that was speed-tied with Doug Trio, if it was really good, I would consider running it, but... Really, dude? You said um, you wouldn't even run a 30. 30 special well, not not not, not <laughs> oh no that's just for race uh, pb attempts is completely different but oh yeah. i see i see yeah okay. for race oh absolutely not no my minimum <laughs> my minimum speed requirement for race for races and turning is 30 speed with 30 late speed. surge Whoa. Only you don't, do, do you want to know what my parameters are my parameters are 21 hp 21 attack 21 defense 21 special defense 31 special attack and 30 speed that's my rash that's my parameters <laughs> You're gonna have a full-time job looking for skirtles at that point. I, I, I dude, I, I hit one today. I hit one today that had that actually. Oh, um, man. If, you're, if you're good at the manip and you set your frame pretty high, um, I mean, Yeah, I mean, if you hit it, like, why not? Like, if you get it, better, better is better. The best, the best way to do it is set decently good parameters, um, and then if you ha get, if you happen to hit something with your decent parameters, and you have the time, and you want to try and get a better one, you can try to do that. Um, don't start with the highest possible parameters, but um, I was just going to say Amoeba um, notoriously searches pretty pretty dang high on um, on his frame. I mean, he's, he's gone up to frame 100,000, which is like 30 minutes of waiting, which is really funny, but uh, Amoeba has <laughs> hit a frame 90,000 Squirtle, which is very funny. Because um, you basically could take a nap at the Pokeball. Um, 
so um yeah that's uh but, you could, if you do that then you have an emulator advantage because you could like run 50 instances of mgba and just like have them running for 30 minutes each until your squirrel pops well um well, you, you, you wouldn't be able to control all of them, because you'd have to... Some would be, like, frame 4500, and some would be, you know... But, yeah, I, I guess, in theory, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 generally, yeah. So, the other parameters I would consider would be, um, like, just straight off, off the bat, first parameters for hitting a Squirtle would probably be, like, 12 HP. I'd still only gonna run Rash. Um... Because again, um, based on a statistic that I that I when I looked at the notes, like um, a thirty the thirty defense thirty to thirty or thirty one defense is the same as a four to six defense list. So to put it in perspective, like it's just my odds are just never really good. They're just a little too risky. They take a little too much damage. There are certain things that can just one shot you. Hyper Beam crit from Gyarados will one-shot you majority of the um, It's better on Misty, because you take only Swift, but... Um, yeah, it makes it harder on Rival 2, because you take more damage from Quick Attack. Um, generally not advised. Yeah, generally not advised to go to uh, run mild, but if you were to run parameters, um, yeah, I would say like 12 HP, rash, um, attack, I mean, I'd say like 13 maybe. Uh, you really want to. If you're running 13 attack, I mean, in that case, like maybe 31 attack mi uh, modest. Is well, that like. No, it's so, so even the highest modest is still pretty low um, on. Uh, for the for the for the kick bite range for boat rival, that's the only thing that matters for for modest. Um, I think thirty one like thirty one modest or twenty eight to thirty one modest is the same as um, it's either six to nine six to nine neutral or it's ten to thirteen neutral. So yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, again, like, Modest is fine, but, again, like, having to kick twice on the Ivysaur and Boat Rival, definitely not advised. Um, oh, right, since you're lower level. And yeah, range, so it, yeah. it's not going to be, a, you're, you're not going to get the, like, it's going to be really difficult to get the range. Um, it's still possible, but, um, that's why, like, early Surge Modest is, is completely fine, honestly. Um, you only really, you just need to run at least 28 modest, and then um, you, you're obviously going to be biting the the Oddish every single time, uh, especially in a race on Martha's Oddish. So, um, but yeah, for late surge, it's pretty punishing not running Rash because you can basically course correct Rash by running 21 special defense. Um, so you're not so you're not taking too much damage from Vine Whip for Rival 2, so... Um, so yeah, I'd say like 13 attack, 16 defense at least, um, which is the 15, I think it's 16 or 15, makes it, makes you take 6 from Pidgeotto on Rival 2. Um, I mean, you could run 15 special defense rash, um, which is a threshold for Boat Rival, um, not taking too much from Boat Rival, but you you should still run 21. And then for Late Surge, you can run 21 speed. It doesn't matter. Yeah, um, I mean, I guess if you're just like... What I did for my Squirtle is that I put the parameters which I thought was were kind of go good, and then I just like tried to get it and tried to get a better one for as long as I had time, you know? And just yeah. like... Uh, like... In that, in that case, you know, if you don't find anything that's better than, uh, you, like, the worst possible runnable, then you at least have a runnable Squirtle. Like, I guess that was my uh, uh, does first place matter? Um, 
I don't believe... I don't believe so. Uh, well, for... Uh... Proceeding, potentially. Is it based um, off of time or uh, placement? Uh, placement, yeah. It, I think it was initially time, and I, I mixed up um, how it was done last year. Um, but you know, it does make sense that it's placement in the way that uh, runners will definitely like uh, push themselves to go faster if the others are also going fast. So yeah, I mean, there's 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 ups there's ups and downs to both. Um, formats um one of the one of the big downsides to the placement format um is that you you are very dependent on the draws um if you just happen to draw um super strong opponents that do really well in their race and you you know you lose with a 206 or you get second with like a 206 and you're the first place gets like a 204 or 205 or something it you do get punished there because you still don't get pot one. So yeah, um, yeah. But um, they are, they are both. I would say the the placement format is definitely definitely going to be better. Um, that's just the only downside of it is it's it's more draw dependent. But um, it, it turns it it kind of turns into like a time trials situation um, if it's the other way. So, but. Um, it definitely does would suck if you know your round three time race time is like a 207 and you get outseated for the next round by someone who gets like a 210 or 211 you know like that definitely feels kind of weird but it's just that it's just how it is so um, so both these both these runners are gonna be playing this pretty safe um, So again, yeah, they, they're gonna want to try to get pot one, pot one if possible. Um, I think if you get pot one, um, or if you get first, um, you you'd have to have the worst first place time to get pushed into pot two of the four winners. Um, but. Getting pot one for the semis is definitely a big deal, because um, after this round, it's it's going to be an, it's just elimination. So um, only winners advance for semis, so to the finals, and then only one yeah. Then it's just placement from there. So oh, there's a critical. Ooh. Probably heal here. Oh, he's not he dead, done? right? Oh, oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Very. Low key, wow, he almost died. Wow, that's super low. Like, like, and now the crit? critical again. Okay, I'm all this. That uh, one's probably good, right? Unless he gets paralyzed. I mean, I then it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, kind of scary. It, to be honest with you, the other thing that you should probably calc out would, would be max roll critical into 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 hail hit. Um. Although you'd have to take a lot of damage to uh, to uh, die to the dugong, but you'd have to get crit like twice with hail. But hey, it should be not should be dodging para. You love to see it. Just like sludge poison, the body slam loves to paralyze. Chippy's gonna hit through bites. Um, yeah, he's above half, so it loves to <laughs> confused, do confused paralyzed. Ray. All right, hits through. Awesome. Alright. <laughs> You'd have every debuff in the game and you just power. Sometimes sometimes uh sometimes you just get through, so um <laughs> so now Chippy's yeah. got a good setup for full restoring turn one, so Oh, Ekman getting the flinch, nice. That's good. Maybe he gets like, Oh double flinch. Double flinch. Oh, oh you oh, love it. He's actually Wow, he's gonna catch up a little bit here. Um no para, no healing. I mean he had to heal on the dugong, but his health is pretty good here for uh, double spec strats or spec spec speed strats. So might be a little high, but pretty pretty solid. Uh, Chippy's gonna be doing the this slower too. He was the backside of Lorelei by the time he started, so that's a huge okay. Advantage. Okay, here's what I don't agree with. I don't think you should. I guess second place advances anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, I mean, you still got to 
get a 230, although I don't really know how that would work, to be honest, with the, somebody already DN DNFing, but... Um, yeah, Ekba nothing to not save, um, which I think personally is a mistake, um, basically because Earthquake crit does a lot, and if it crits you, you die a lot of the time, so... Okay, Chippy, knowing his health, so... Yep, there you go. Nice standard, standard fight there. Uh, and Ekman's good too. Wow, look at that. He, he caught up, not saving, and he did the faster strat, so... Dude, yeah, Ekman's neck and neck going now. for first place, I respect Yeah, man. Him, because he yeah. knows he's through, it might as well. Yeah. Make it interesting. It's time to go for Risky Rival. Read on uh, every Pokemon on Agatha. So that was just a good example of like the two strats on display, um, which are obviously dependent on your 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 whether or not you're paralyzed, um, your current health health situation. Um, Ekman was just at a good health to where he didn't need to do anything; he could just go for special special speed. Whereas Chippy was paralyzed, so he had to full restore. Um, and yeah, again, helped him for the save here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this fight is... Did Chippy not save? Is, what is happening? I guess it... Well, he did I guess save, it, he did save. Both, both, save, both yeah. save. You should always save for this fight, unless you're a minute behind and you... Yeah. Like, if both... If, if, if the two people in front of you are already past um, Agatha... Yeah, um, but I would love to see it, you know? Just for the, you know, the confidence play. You just believe that much that you will hit it. Yeah, I've done it. <laughs> I've done it in tourney where I, I didn't save Agatha. I mean, I had to. Um, well, actually, that was last round. Yeah, I didn't save Agatha. Okay, oh, Ekman's got a hit. He's got Come a hit. On. Oh, no, he's playing it safe. What is he doing? Okay. He's this, safe for this. This is... Okay. You're supposed to surf there, but... You got the punch. You got the punch. Well, he's going to get... This is... Te well, Oof. I guess technically he is correct. That is, that is going to be safer. Um, it is a little bit slower there, but... Um, also, crit kind of screws you, but... Ekman talking to the back of the E4 members is like is just a joke. It, it, it's not faster in any way. It's the same. Um, it's actually uh, well, actually, I guess it technically doesn't matter because you can bonk the yeah. You get two. I guess you get two attempts at surf in this way. Well, so I believe it's technically it's better to just go there. Well, it's faster to go there because it, he's only set up one double team. Because um, you do speed spec, and then if, when you get when you get shadow punch on the spec spec turn, you can just go. But then you got it. You just have to hit through one one double team versus. But um, not the end of the world. To uh, the only problem there is that if he super potions there, and then um, and then he misses, he's he's just gonna. They could just keep setting up double team. Which would be really bad, so... Um... Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't... I wouldn't do super there, personally. Um... Oh, Ekman did a heal before, did he? Oh... You... Uh, did he... Um... Hmm... Did I, did I miss... Maybe he healed after, I guess. Uh, well, we'll find out in, right now. No, he did not. Okay. Um, ah, this is this is fine. He's just gonna yeah, have to heal. Yeah, He's realizing yeah. it now. Like, oh wait, I didn't heal. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he goes for hyper beam here then. Yeah. It's kind of awkward, but it's not that bad. Yeah, the problem is he's just lower now. But okay, uh, Ekman going for for uh, risky land strat. Ah, 
Man, bite this is a little too much there. He's gonna have to heal. He's in range there. Um, okay, gets Dragon Rage, so. Oh, uh, it doesn't go for Hyper Beam then. That's, uh... So yeah, so the way that the AI works is that, so Hyper Beam has a range here. Let's say it's like 65 to 80 or something. Um, the AI, if you're at 75, so the AI will basically do what's called a pseudo roll, which they yeah. will check to see how much damage they're gonna do to, to determine what move you're gonna use, they're gonna use. Um, so if you're a range, if you're a pseudo roll range, then he's, he, he, he probably won't even use the move. Um, he'd have to roll the amount or higher of your current health pool, so... If yep. it's 80 max and you're at 78, he's going to have to roll 78, 90, or 80 in order to even use the move. And then um, then he's then he's got to roll. It's a, then he does a second roll where he's got to roll 78 for you to die. So getting yeah. a pseudo roll range and then dying is pretty unlikely. So like in, in PB attempts, if you're a range there, like a not a favored range. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, then... Um, you will generally risk pseudo roll ranges a good amount of the time, unless they're oh, really so? bad. Because you have the Aerodactyl in the back as well, so you would just risk it and then heal on Aerodactyl, risk uh, Omni Boost. Or... Yeah, yeah. Um... You could just heal on Gyarados and then you'd have like half HP there and you'd live ancient power always. Yeah, well, well, the only situation that would be interesting there is that, like, well, Aerodactyl Hyper Beam does less than Gyarados Hyper Beam, so um, it would be like kind of a niche situation. But especially if you if you're trying to hit a Blizzard through a pseudo roll, like a plus one accuracy Blizzard through like a pseudo roll, you should, you definitely should just heal. So yeah, I think some people. Um, in a race will risk that blizzard w once they get put into when it's when they've already done their setup and everything and they're guaranteed to kill with blizzard and then you know you get a miss and you get dragon rage and then a miss and then hyper beam and then you're dead so it's always better to play it safe on uh on uh, on lance okay should be getting a ton of okay should be getting a ton of aerial aces so it gives some cheap damage here so Chippy is, so, again, you need to react to, again, it's very likely to sand attack you, um, just because, again, based on your health pool, um, and that's why you have the guard spec. Um, but sometimes it just likes to aerial ace you, so Chippy's going to be running the um, the plus two strategy, where you, you can only set up to plus, um, you get plus two with Torrent, so... The only thing that that changes is you have to hit uh, two blizzards on um, on Gyarados rather than bite blizzard. So um, because as long as you have torrent with plus two, this Algazam's not a range, um, and the and the the Venusaur still dies at plus two to blizzard. So um, it just means that Chippy's gonna have to. Well, he's gonna have to heal for sure. He's gonna have to heal on the Gyarados. Number one, um, and then he's gonna have to hit two ninety-three percent blizzards. Um, as long and then as long as he dodges crit, um, you know. But 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 again, it, it can be pretty consistent because you can you can play around critical here. So you know, so he's got to go for blizzard here. Um, if he's dead to thrash crit, you may want to heal again. To be honest, uh, he wasn't. Though. I don't. I don't. Ah. Uh, it might be a range. Do you mean any speed? No. Well, if you he he could have gotten Miss Blizzard there and then Thrash Crit, which would have done. Yeah, he would have been he would have been a range to die to Thrash Crit there. But that's like super like unlikely. But nine, 91 should be safe too. So yeah. All right, Chippy's through. Um, Champ can be pretty insistent when you uh, GG when you play safe. Um, so, I mean, you can still, notably on that fight, you can die to, um, critical, getting critical, um, critical from Aerial Ace on a bad turn, or obviously the, the Blizzard through Solar Beam can be, uh, can be GG, so...
But yeah, I mean, with how bad Chippy's beginning was, um, he definitely didn't give up, and yeah. But yeah, rival one death into winning the race, so... I mean, I still think Wanley definitely got a little... definitely got more unlucky than Chippy, but... Um, it definitely is annoying to be that tilted in the beginning, for sure, like that early, you know, so... Uh, he, he kept a level head, so... and. Still put together a solid race time, 208, low 208, solid, so... And then, yeah, Ekman finishing as well with a low 209, so... Pretty solid with how crazy the RNG went, so... Um. Yeah, I say, I'll say uh, Ekman played pretty pretty solid, and... Sure, I mean... Yep, yeah. yeah, for sure. I uh, think the race was very entertaining, at least. Like, you can make yeah. a movie out of this shit, in my opinion. Hello, Rival 1 Death... <laughs> Runner, how are you doing? Uh, I don't even <laughs> want to talk about this run, dude. <laughs> yeah, you did it though. I mean, I'm glad uh, you didn't tilt too hard, but uh, no, I wasn't tilted. I just I had no emotion after. Uh, yeah. Of rival two, I just like, well, I just play. If I play, if I die, I die. It is what it is. And yeah, I feel yeah. just as bad as for Juanli, dude. Juanli had just as bad luck as me, dude. You know what I was thinking about? I mean, I know you got like the weirdest rival two fight ever, but. Um, um, I was thinking about it after the fact that you probably could have just swapped bird and gave the bird the XP and then done like um, I was thinking about just, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, it's I so weird. Dude. Too. I was <laughs> just so like, weird. Yeah, like probably didn't need to reset on that, but I was like, eh. And then I was actually trying to like take extra grass steps so I can get the extra speed EV for Sabrina, and it just never hit. I was like, okay, well, oh. I just <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Wanley's run was very unfortunate. I mean, you all got pretty bad luck, so um, he just got definitely got the worst luck. Um, but yeah, he was uh, he was a, a, over a minute behind, and you know, just missed Blizzard on on Venusaur himself. And, and it's like, what can you do? You know, you know, I don't. You, I, he was right not to save there. You're behind. Like, why would you? If you, if you die, you're too far behind anyways. So. Yep. But yeah, you got you guys both played pretty good. So um, it was very a lot of weird stuff happened. Um, what do you think about your race, Ekman? How do you feel? Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I guess I played somewhat safe until I saw that Juani yeah. uh, uh, forfeited. So, uh, because I was uh, I was in the lead, so I thought like, yeah, no reason to risk anything. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I guess Agatha decided at the end, and then I forgot to heal, but that didn't change. Change yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your lance was a little slow because of that, but um, it can be pretty consistent. So, yeah. Um, Yep. Yeah, but I mean, despite all the crazy stuff that happened, I mean, yeah, that you know, solid times. So, um, yeah, just very unfortunate for Wanley. I oh, felt so bad, man. But he, uh, and 16 range that I missed when I was poisoned on Colton. Yeah, dude, I, that scared me, man. I, like that's why I'm running. I'm not gonna run 30 like, be, just because of that true. situation. Because dude, you're. Saying... Like, yeah, surely I'm not gonna miss. Surely I'm not gonna miss this 15 and 16. Yeah, um, that was. Uh, yeah, but that because yeah, if I mean if you die there, yeah, you're going back to mom, right? I mean that. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Um, but yeah, that was a uh, yeah, lots of lots of bad RNG, lots of deaths, but um, it was a good. Yeah, it was a good, it was an entertaining race for sure. Um, and just very weird rival fights. I mean, Wanley could not hit was... Mega Kick on on rival, like just. On either none of the on, on both of the rivals, like his mega kick was just awful. Like yeah, it was it was heartbreaking to see because he was he had all the RNG in the early game and then yeah in the mid early game it just crumbled. Was, yeah, yeah, yep. Um, what can you do? Sometimes the game doesn't doesn't want you to win. So, but he played it. He played it. He played it good. You know, he did the right thing. I mean, um, he just was behind and happened to you know knowing the situation knowing that you know yeah that's he could have played he could have played for best third place time but it's like i don't know it's i think that pace I mean, probably was wasn't spot, good enough, i would have so. just f that as well yeah it's just, yeah. yeah 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 it's really hard to come back from death yeah lots of lots of deaths but um yeah congrats you guys both advanced the semis so um and yeah, make sure you get a good squirtle for semis, so... Because you gotta win that, you gotta win that race, so... Got a week to prepare. <laughs> yep, yep. GG's. A week to find a ridiculous squirtle, yeah. Uh, 
yeah, so two more races coming up. Um, Thursday and Friday. So check us out for those. Um, and we're still figuring out the scheduling for the la- for the last one. So, um, so yeah. Um, Chippy and Ekman advance to the semis. They'll be joined by seven more people once we figure out the first and second places of the and the best third place time from the next three races, and then and we'll get the semis with nine people, and then it's just winner takes all from there. So. Um, Yep, thanks for tuning in. Uh, We'll see you guys on Thursday.